So another common list method you're going to see and use quite a bit is the count method. And this is very straightforward. So let's say I'm just going to mash some keys. And I'm going to throw commas in here. See how this works out. Probably didn't need that many, but it's OK. This will help demonstrate. So why don't we print the count of nines in the list? There are five of them. Cool. And let's print the count of the value that's in the third index. So that third index, 0, 1, 2, 3, 7, there are four sevens in there. So pretty, pretty straightforward, right? This is, um, let's, let's think about this in a different context, though. Um, there's some string, and I don't know how to spell this, onomatopoeia? That could be how you spell it. I'm not sure. Um, let's count the number of O's. Let's see if we can do this. We can. So there are four O's in this spelling of onomatopoeia, which may or may not be correct. So essentially, count does exactly what you think it would do. It just counts the number of occurrences of a given value in either a list or a string. Um, likely in other collections as well, like a tuple. 